everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have a little bit of time on your hands because today's video is going to be a little bit long. I'm going to be showing you a collective haul featuring some drugstore makeup, but also everything that I got at Saks Fifth Avenue. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that me and my family have a traditional day around the holidays where we go shop because my aunt does work there. And I posted a picture of my makeup because we get it done at a Laura Mercier counter by one of my aunt's friends. And I love the look she came up with and in that photo I asked if you guys wanted to see a haul from that day and you guys did so I figured I'd go ahead and combine it with the drugstore makeup that I've recently picked up because they have a lot of new holiday stuff out and I can't wait to show you so everything is just thrown in this box next to me it's super unorganized and I'm very sorry but I have opened some of this stuff so you'll be seeing it without the packaging but I did go to CVS and Meyer. so when I pull things out I'll just be sure to tell you guys where I got it but I'm gonna start with the new CoverGirl stuff because I got the foundation and then the two other other things that I saw that were super intriguing to me. This is the Ultra Smooth Hair Smoothing Foundation Plus Applicator. They do give you an applicator with this, which I was super happy to see. It's kind of strange. It's just a very thin, rubbery, circle, oval thing, and you don't really know where to hold on to it. I've worn this a couple times, and this, including the other two products that I'm going to talk about, are going to be your next Mystery Review Monday video. So I'm not going to say too much about them, but I did get the shade 810 Ivory. And then moving on to the other two things, Things. One was just this quad, and I really like this. I don't think these have a particular name. This is just 700 Notice Me Nudes, and I don't know. The colors just really caught my eye with these, and I liked how they were set up in here. And I have this kind of shimmery color on my lids today, and I thought it acted really, really well. It went on really nicely. I've only swatched these, but like I said, I'll talk more about it in the review. And then lastly is this kind of strange product. I was so confused looking at the packaging because it's a brow product, but also an eyeliner and if you can hear it has like this little ball inside and I have no idea what it's for but I did get this shade let's see I got I guess just the brown one it doesn't really say much on here but it's really strange like I said it's a powder and it tends to get everywhere I've played with it a couple times but you'll see it in a demo in that mystery review Monday coming soon sticking with CoverGirl I picked up one of their lip lavas and this is kind of out there for me because I'm not a super huge lip gloss fan but this color seriously just caught my eye it's a really nice fuchsia and it almost has like a purple sheen to it it's so pretty and I'm trying to find the color name it is let's see here 850 look it's lava and this has a really different applicator well, I guess it's not too different it's just like a brush style but oh my gosh guys I tried this on to take a first impression picture and it is gorgeous it is so opaque I absolutely love it and even though it's a lip gloss it's not super sticky and I totally totally think I'm going to rock this a ton I'm so so happy with this that I'm even thinking about going and getting the other colors because this just blew me away. Two other lip products that I got from CVS are two of the new All May Lip Butters and I think these have the beauty community freaking out because they're so darn similar to the Revlon ones but even the packaging is super similar. I do like the packaging though and I did get two shades. I got 40 Red Light and also 10 Berry Light and these really go by skin tone which I was a little bit shocked to see. I've never seen anything like that and at first I was like oh that's pretty cool but then I'm like I totally feel like I can pull off color that aren't for my skin tone so I made sure to look over all of the options before choosing but I just so happened to get the two that were in my skin tone range but I only had two ranges in my CVS I had a light medium row and then just a light row so I was a little bit disappointed to not see that deep row because I know a lot of maybe fun bold colors would have been in there but I've been wearing these I have them on today a mix actually between the two of these which is really how I've been loving to wear them I think they're kind of opaque but I don't know right now I'm still like in the Revlon ones but I'm sure that once I play around with these more I'll have more of a feel for them and I have one more lip item to tell you guys about this is the Burt's Bees ultra conditioning lip balm and I recently picked this up just because my lips were getting really used to the ones that I have right now and I just wanted to try something new I haven't tried Burt's Bees in a very long time and I wanted to stick with something a little bit more natural I do like the way that this feels on my lips it's almost lightweight but it is very very moisturizing so I've been really happy with that next up is this palette from black radiance and it might look a little bit familiar because these are super similar to the wet and 
wild, what are these? I guess eight pan palettes because Black Radiance is a sister company of Wet n Wild. But I'm going to open this up and show you the colors. It really just appealed to me because of the purples. And this is in Downtown Browns number 8026. So I really, really just loved these kind of middle purpley colors right here. And I used them in my crease today with that other CoverGirl palette. And I think the look actually came out really, really well. I was super happy with it. Some of these are a little bit hit and miss, but like I said, the purple is just really appealed to me and I think they're only like $6. So I plan on keeping this bad boy and I thought there were some really unique shades in here. Next is something that was just a totally, totally random purchase. And this is from Alme and this is the Wake Up Under Eye Concealer. I did get the shade Light and I've just been kind of getting used to my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer lately. Today I actually broke out my Clinique one that I used to love from forever ago. So I really feel like I've just been really varying as far as concealer goes so I just picked this up I wanted something very highlighting under my eyes I'm not really a huge Alme fan and I will admit it because I haven't just really found a lot of things that I absolutely love by them other than their one coat triple effect mascara that's a really really good one but I was standing in line kind of going back and forth on this and I should have probably not gotten it because on the back of the packaging it said light to medium coverage and I'm definitely somebody who likes very medium to high coverage under my eyes. I used this once. I was not impressed in the slightest to be honest with you guys, but I'm going to give it a couple more tries and let you know what I think. Last but not least as far as drugstore makeup is concerned is something very exciting because these were on clearance. I couldn't believe it. I got these at Meyer, and these are the new L'Oreal Infallible crayon things. The label is like in the way. What are these called? Eye crayons, I guess. And these were totally on clearance. They were marked down from $6.99 to $4.89. They were 30% off. And it's so funny because I had my eye on this green one for a really long time. I almost picked it up like two weeks ago or something and I just decided to finally get it because it was on clearance and why not? So I got two colors. One was, let's see, 706 Enduring Rose and this is a very nice champagne color. And then the green one, if I could read it, oh my goodness. Well, guys, it's just the green one. The whole label is like in the way and I don't feel like taking it off. Actually, hold on. I can flip it up. This one is 707 Resilient Green. I haven't tried the green one yet, but I did use this almost champagne-y one around my tear duct a couple days ago, and I thought it was really, really nice. It came off a little bit more golden-y than I thought, but so far I'm really happy with these. I was just expecting that the tip would be a little bit thinner, but other than that, they're really, really nice, and I'm glad they were on clearance. Moving right along to what you guys really came for, right? I'm just so excited to be showing you guys this. So the first thing that I'm going to pull out are these sunglasses and quick disclaimer I got all of this on sale my aunt does work there and she gets a great discount around the holidays which is why we go I would not be able to afford any of this if it wasn't for that discount so there's your little disclaimer yeah so getting into the sunglasses these are Gucci and I'm gonna put them on for you guys I just think they're so different they're so cute and when this day rolls around I really like investing this is the first year that I've gotten sunglasses glasses but seriously guys like I just couldn't get over these like I said I don't know what style they are but I love how they have like that little metallic line I don't know I just thought they were super cute and I love ah, a little sticker got caught in my hair I just love the cat eye look and I just really wanted a nice pair of sunglasses to keep for a really long time and then I got a shampoo and conditioner from Kiehl's and if you're not familiar Kiehl's is a more higher end hair care line they're very very natural and they're supposed to be really good for your hair so in the past I've gotten the sunflower one but I just realized that on this trip for some reason it's for color protecting and I don't have a lot of color in my hair so I went with a different formula that I have never tried so I have no idea how it's going to act on my hair but I did get the damage repairing and rehydrating shampoo and conditioner and I'm super excited to try them keep an eye out on Instagram like always because I can't tell you much about these yet but I just figured hair in my mouth that I really could use a more hydrating shampoo I love when my hair is really soft and also who doesn't need a little damage repair here and there moving along to more skincare and makeup items I have this little lip balm to show you first of all the packaging is absolutely gorgeous this is the Lemur I think lip balm and the friend of my aunt who did our makeup at the Laura Mercier counter really recommended this for dry lips I have really been struggling with dry lips lately I really don't know why but they have 
just been incredibly dry, especially on my lower lip. And I think this packaging is gorgeous. I really just took her advice. She said it was great and I'm like, throw it in my bag because I need to try something like that. But they kept telling me how drugstore lip balm and stuff, the beeswax is not very good for your lips. So this is a lip balm that doesn't have a lot of wax in it. And it's just a clear, almost thicker, it's not really thick, but it's kind of a hard solid. So when you, you don't get like too much on your finger when you rub it around in there and it's really light on the lips. But like I said, I think the packaging is so, so cute. I've used it a couple times and I really have seen a difference, but I feel like whenever I try a new lip product, it takes a couple tries to really see if it's going to do something because that first application is like always the best, I feel like, and then it kind of tapers off. But hopefully this sticks with me. I chose two, one skincare, one makeup item that she actually used on me that I ended up loving. So first of all is the Silk Cream Foundation. Can you believe I have never tried this stuff? I'm wearing it today and my shade is Cream Ivory. This is really raved about across the beauty community and I see why. It's a very natural looking foundation with good coverage. I applied it today and I don't think I shook it up super well so I'm going to have to still play around with it. But even that being said, I feel like the finished look was really, really nice. Sorry I keep like jumping around here but next is something a little more skincare related and this is the Flawless Skin Perfecting Water Moisture Mist. And I remember she used this on my cousin and I last year and we both just fell in love with it and they ended up being sold out. So we had to make sure that we got our hands on it this year. And I kind of want to say it's like a toner because you spray it on your skin after every washing and it just adds some nice moisture and things like that. And I think it just really preps your skin for maybe whatever you put on top of it. So I remember it made my skin so soft last year and I can't wait to break it out and use it tonight. Like I said, we keep jumping around, but this is a nice little kit from Laura Mercier that really caught my eye that I had to try. And this is the End of the Wild look book collection and it says safari chic, jungle chic, and tribal chic. But in here, let me get them out super quickly, are three really, really nice palettes and they come in this cute, hold on a second, ah, little adorable almost book style packaging. I actually didn't see that in the store so I really like that. But let me go ahead and get out the first couple here. I just was so impressed by the color selection in these. So this is the safari chic one. And as you can see, this has a few eyeshadows and a nice like almost bronzy blush. I'm just going to kind of show you like that. It's upside down, but I don't want to blind you. And then it also includes this little, if I could get it out, um, pencil eyeliner in like a brown color. So that might even be my least favorite of the three. That doesn't contain any like super exciting colors to me. But moving on to Jungle Chic, this was my favorite. She actually used this on me when she did my makeup. And this just contains some really nice smoky eye colors and also their cake liner, which is super great and super famous and popular. And then in here, I think you get a blackish almost metallic liner and then the nice little brush that they recommend for that cake liner but yeah these colors are just beautiful and then on to tribal chic this contains more of your color and I just love these shades too and it also includes two really big nice blushes so I really love how these are all broken up into three different palettes because like I said I could really just take the jungle chic one which was my all-time favorite if I'm traveling or something like that and you really just need to take maybe a couple blushes and you're good to go so I really, really liked that and I'll be sure to review it or do something about it in the near future. It's kind of a tradition for me to get a handbag on these trips when we do these every single holiday and even though I just got the Kate Spade bag, I kind of splurged and I got another one. I don't know. I just had to because when you see this color, guys, you will know exactly why I did and this, guys is my new baby. I'm not going to be carrying it much yet because I'm still loving that Kate Spade one. And I think I'm seriously like on a blue kick now. But this is a Rebecca Minkoff bag. I have never had one. And let me see if I can find the actual style. It says on here that it's style HR24ISSSO1. And this is just a Morris satchel in ultraviolet. I don't know guys, but I just thought it was beautiful. The inside has like a really nice design to it. And I actually 
haven't seen how many pockets are in there or anything like that. I kind of just beelined and was like, yes, I want this. And I didn't really think much of it, but it ended up being super discounted. And guys, isn't this like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this haul. And really quick, I wanted to remind you that my giveaway of the Lorac Unzipped palette and then also that Wet n Wild lipstick is still up and running and you can enter it all the way through Christmas. So please be sure to get your entry in and the link I'll have supplied for you right down below. But that video contains a really nice holiday tutorial also if you still need that perfect look to wear to all of your holiday gatherings. It's a really nice whiny berry lip and then a super warm eye that I barely ever wear but it's so flattering and I think it's going to look good on everyone. That's it for now guys. I'll see you in my next video and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Bye.